Hi guys! <laughs> so I'm actually going for a fashion event. <laughs> Someone invited me and this is the first time I'm going out with my without my baby. Right. I, I I figured that it was going to be better to leave him with his with his dad. Yeah. Because right now, eh, the trekking I dressed today because of where the train stopped and how I was able to like had to trek for like more than ten minutes. Can you imagine using stroller to go to a journey that you don't even know the exact location like you've never been there so it's really i'm really glad that i finally found the place this is the place so finally i'm here so uh, it's cool it's an african um fashion festival so. okay at the entrance there was registration then when i came in um the first speaker was actually Sound Sultan's brother, Dari Fasasi, also known as Baba D. Yeah, he was the one speaking when I came in. It was actually nice to see him because I, I actually watched an interview with him on um, Teju Babyface um, podcast. It was really good to see him like in person, even though I didn't like go and meet him personally. Yeah. So it's nice he actually like was on stage he spoke then he also performed one of his songs um so um really the program was actually an amazing program like it, it just gave me the opportunity to just have this nigerian feel in a foreign land um yeah it's, it was really nice um it was a um a, a wonderful experience basically yeah so um yeah the it's um the organizers it, it was an african um themed event of course the organizers are africans and um, the fashion show then um there were talks about the uh, the integration this was the panel discussion about integrating into the swedish society as foreigners and also not try uh, try not to lose yourself in that in that sense and these people these panelists do this with art in various forms whether it is fashion it is um writing or it's um um painting and all that so it, it the panel discussion was amazing and um one of the panelists lola said something that um when you find your voice you do not whisper i'm paraphrasing now so there was this there was the runway uh, moments where <laughs> um designers displayed their their fashion um their what was it called now where designers displayed their their products in that sense and um, it was really nice like <laughs> you know there's this beauty about the african um fashion um fashion it's bright it's colorful um, sweden is not really yeah you see sweet sweets are very fashionable but when it comes to colors they're very toned down and all that but africa we love colors like our fabrics are colorful uh our parties are colorful like everything about africa is colorful and that's amazing like like nigeria was well represented here although there were other um people from there are people from other countries but the, the majority of the persons in this event were nigerians or are nigerians and it's it was really amazing the music even though well i'm not really of much of a secular um i don't listen to secular music as such except um, if it's of, of course the lyrics are are not against my belief right but then it just gave me that nigerian feel and all it was really a wonderful time <laughs> come and see all the the modelers <laughs> It was really cool. It was really nice. And at a point, my battery actually ran down. <laughs> like I was so like I, I couldn't like film properly anymore. Like, but I was trying to save battery because you know now if you are in if you are in this part of the world, your phone is super important in getting to places because of Google Maps. Because it, this was a place I I didn't know before. I just had to like and when I'm going to a place I don't know, Google Map is like the saving like is is. It's like so important and my battery was running down so i was just like ah maybe i'll just order uber home instead of taking the train right but um mm, as i was ordering the uber safe the phone went off so i had to go back inside so i tried to look for 
um, how to charge and uh, god bless the dj at the event he offered me his charger i asked and he offered yeah so this was the point where the the um, Igbo, um, the Igbo, yeah, that's the that's the pronunciation. The Igbo cultural troop. I think they call themselves Udoka cultural troop or group or something. They came to entertain <laughs> us and they t- <laughs> they just gave us this Nigerian so Nigerian feeling. So these were the the um, some of the products that were displayed. The Ankara vibe was just going on and on. It's really cool, colorful. Ah, but I didn't buy anything, Sha. So this was like the food, like just snacks, Sha. Fika, like. African fusion! African fusion! Overall, it was a wonderful experience. Um, yep. Thanks to the organizers and um, special thanks to one panelist, um, Lola. She was so amazing with her answers and everything. At the end of the day, I took an Uber home and uh, yeah.